Borada and welcome to the InstaSim channel. Today I'm playing the Beast Aside once again. Now, uh, I have done a few subtle changes to the layout here. Now I've moved my webcam to the bottom because I just realised there are a few things that happened on the screen that, were, that my webcam was blocking previously. So I moved it to the bottom left instead of having it on the top left. Because uh, there are things that happen on the top left, things that happen on the top right, and not much things that happen on the bottom left as far as I'm aware. So I've moved the webcam down to compensate for that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, apart from that, we're going straight back into the beast inside. So we did the first chapter in the last episode. Uh, we were going to paint some walls, but we found our great-granddad's great uh, porn magazines or something. And uh, we, we uncovered that something happened in the 1800s or something. And we are now looking no at... No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? Wait, is he at the door? Just a decade ago, without so much as leaving a letter. Okay, so that's interesting. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. So our father's dead. And what happened to me. Potentially. Potentially our father's dead. Oh, hello. Uh, press tab to read the diary. Nicholas writes down his thoughts as well as important information. Okay. So if we do that, then... Yeah, we have all that in our diary. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Nicholas has a diary and the other guy, I think it's Adam, has a voice recorder. So there's a bit more dialogue there, which I didn't actually have in the last episode. So that's fine, but I paused the, uh, the game, so it was okay. Um, our father is not at the door. He's not outside. He's gone. Right, he's not there. It's fine. Right, I think we should put some lights, as we were told we should do earlier. Press X to light a match. Okay. Perfect. And we are left-handed, apparently. Which is okay. That's fine. There we go. Turning on some candles. Now we've got a book. Which seems to do something for some reason. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Oh. Old lamp. My grandfather used one of those when he worked in the mine. Back then, these were a rarity. They said it was foolproof, but not only when going underground, now it's rusting away, but it's still working. It might come in handy. Let's take it. And it has a little bit of kerosene in it as well, so we can press F to respectfully turn on the lamp. Perfect. Right, what's this? My father and his partner a few days after opening the pirate mine. Uh, let's rotate. Okay, I... Oh, we can read it. Jacob Hyde and George Whitehead, April 4th, 1840. Cool. Let's take that. Press the left mouse button to push... To move... Uh, to move the heavy... They heavy objects. I think that's slightly bug, isn't it? That's a little bit of a... An awkward thing. Um, come on, move out of the way, chair. You shouldn't be there anyway. There you go. It's dark in here. I'll light the candles. Yeah, light that sight of candle. Ooh, a nice uh, portrait of somebody. Now, oh, what's that? Kerosene. Cool. Throw the books. Right. Ah, we need to move this chair. Okay. There you go. Oh, no. Come on, move out of the way. Move out of the way. Right, let's light some candles. Upstairs. What was that? What could it be? What could it be indeed? I have no idea. I didn't actually hear it very loudly, so I wasn't quite sure. Uh, land preemption contract, certificate number twelve, land office at Plan Plainfield, NH. May 4th, 1839. It's hereby certified that the pursuant of the provisions of the Act of Congress approved January 13th, 1838, entitled An Act to Secure Land Preemption to Actual Settlers of the Public Domain. Jacob Hyde. Make payment in full, $400. Now, therefore, be it known that on present... Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to read all of that, because that's just a little bit awkward. Oh, hello. There's a hidden message. 
My father bought this land for practically nothing. His friend, Judge Norton, signed the contract and the deal was made. That's how they did it back then. My father knew what was hidden underneath. He just needed someone with the resources to open a mine. That's when he met George. Then he built the inn and for a time he was actually rolling in it. Good old days, but I'm afraid it's not coming back. Okay. This matches. Throw you away. Right. Turn on some more of these. Right. What was upstairs? We need to check upstairs for something. Okay. Examine. I still don't know why my father started to collect Throw you away. There you go. Let's turn on some kind. I, I thought the window was bolted shut. I thought the window's bolted shut too, because I bolted it shut earlier. But for some reason, it isn't. So that's uh, very interesting. Okay. Oh hi. Hey, what are you doing here? He's pointing. This is private property. He pointed at something. He's walking away. The devil is he? He's walking away. Hello? Okay, he's actually walking this time. He's not just completely stationary. Keep that window open because, you know, it's a, it's a very nice day today, isn't it? Where the hell did he go? Where did he go? He went that way, didn't hey, he? Hey! You still here? I better take a look. Well, there's no one in front of the house. The guy Maybe vanished into thin air. In there. You pointed towards the what? Gate. Okay, we can run. Let's open this. This is a very different atmosphere. Check the shed. Okay, there's the shed is here. Through a gate this time. Move you out of the way. Strange. The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked? The door is locked? Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Okay, we need to find something to cut through the chain. What's this? Ah, bolt cutter. Cool. Take it. Mine now. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. It was nothing. It's fine. <laughs> I thought that was a person there. No, you don't. Okay. What the hell is this? I'm gonna close the door. A newspaper clipping. Who the hell is that? Is that a person? Let me investigate that in a second. A terrible crime has shocked a peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the inn, confirmed the man's death. John Norton has been considered missing last few weeks. The assailant was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed and many other cuts and burns all over the body suggest prolonged torture. A gruesome murder? Huh. Here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. I knew there was a person there. So, um... Bye. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. That's my father's hat? Basement. Basement? Did he leave this as some kind of clue for me? A clue? I should look into it. Okay. Okay, there's nothing behind me. I'll put that light on. Okay. I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of night. I'd better go home. Vagabond? What does vagabond mean? What's a vagabond? Okay. Oh, hi. What? You let yourself in? 
Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. Um, he's crying. Let's go and come. Let's go and give him some compassion. Uh. Yep, we better not tell anyone because I don't want Outlast to happen again. Uh, we, if, we, if we tell anybody about this, then that basically gives us the plot plot for Outlast. <laughs> the house isn't that safe either. The madness trip. Oh wait, the trespasser disappeared, but in the shed I found a newspaper clipping about a gruesome crime committed in the area. There's no point looking for the guy in the dead for night. Uh, he gave me the creeps. Time to go home and wait till this madness is over. The house isn't that safe either. The madness has crept in here too. He he was so close. I don't want to touch him. And then he disappeared. He didn't hide, just vanished. It's If that's true, then I saw a ghost. What if it's my imagination? That would mean I went crazy. I don't like either option. <laughs> Who was he? What does he want? And why is this happening? Why, just when I started to recover after spending a decade in that terrible place. What terrible place? Oh, thanks. Turn that on. There we go. You have to go all the way around, don't we? Can't open that one. That one's blocked. Oh, come on. Don't open doors for me, okay? I don't want you to. I don't like it when you do that. I was expecting it, but, you know, I'll just take this rolling pin with me and then at least then I can hit people across the head with it. Right. What's through here? <clears throat> Where did all this blood come from? I have no idea Dear and I God. don't want to know. No. Wait, what the hell? There's someone in that door. He's gone for good, or he wasn't he never even here in the hallway. There's a lot of blood in the hallway. I can hear knocking, I'm shaking all over. Someone's banging at the cellar door and won't stop. Is that him waiting for me there for me? I'm afraid to pull the handle, but the uncertainty scares me even more. Okay, we'll just have to Ugh. Mm. How dare you? Don't do this to me. This is a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Because if you have to question if it's a good idea, it probably isn't. Bye! Yeah, we might have to. Diary's been updated. There's blood in the cellar as well. Too much for the victims to survive. I'll follow the trail, but it makes them nauseous think, just thinking about what I might find. Okay. So we need to follow the blood, which means that we're basically... This is basically the plot hole of Outlast, where we have to follow the blood everywhere. But that's fine. If we did it in Outlast, we should be able to do it. No. Right, we need some. We have some kerosene there. Come on, give me the kerosene and the matches as well. Those matches too. I'm getting a lot of matches. We've got thirty matches now. Okay. C to crouch. There we go. Right. That's nothing. That's just a picture. Maybe there's another way in. Maybe there's another way in. I don't want to go. I don't want to find it either. <laughs> Why do I have to? Okay, we have click events. Okay. Which is fine. There's also kerosene over there, so I got the kerosene. What's this? A pair of shears. Okay. Perish ears with a blade, despite the passage of time, they can come in handy. Oh, what's this? Damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. Where's my briefcase? Get out of the basement. Oh, God. I have to get in there. 
Whatever happened, I hope it's not my father's blood. Well, I hope so too. Ugh. Am I delusional? That happened in the demo and it happened again and I like it, but I also hate it. Stop it. Like rules. Don't do that, please. I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. Of course I need to get rid of them, don't I? That's what I need the shears for. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that for a second. <sighs> I did have to do that. It's gonna be something in the door. Okay, I'm quite surprised there wasn't actually, to be honest. He's upstairs. No. What does he want from me? Oh god, there you are. What do you want? Get away from me. Please. Oh god, don't do this. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> Why? Okay. I'm losing it. I'm losing the plot. <laughs> Has someone gone through my briefcase? Has someone gone through my briefcase? There. What's this? It's a key, a mysterious key. That's fine. We might need that later. I thought we had lockpicks somewhere as well. Uh oh. Oh dear. Who the hell are you? Who are you? Stay back. You hear me? Oh no. Don't. Go away, please. Yes, go away. That would be nice. Uh-oh. What is he doing? What are you doing? Who is he? My parents' old house where Emma and I decided to move. My parents' old house, where Emma and I decided to move, hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards in the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passages describe real-life events or if they're just mad ravings made up by this Nicholas person. That was pretty good. I quite liked that. They did change the chapter a little bit, and that was actually some good changes, because obviously at the end of the chapter in the demo, the guy pretty much got killed, which is obviously... Not something that should happen ha like at the very beginning of the game. So yeah, who 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 was that? Is my question. I need to know. But yeah. Oh, give me shivers. I'm uh, shivering here. Let's press any key. Now we're back in all in the current time, and the pages are completely Damn, blank. Someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Ah, I was looking forward to read more of that. Strange. I was in the attic and... Hmm. I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. I'll show it to Emma. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that in the next episode because we're currently going through all the chapters in one episode for some reason. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I might try and do each chapter in one episode or something. Then we'll have like sort of chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So we'll see what we can do. It depends on the length of the chapters, because I'm assuming, I'm hoping they get a bit longer as the game goes on. However, we're going to end this episode here, and we're going to carry on in the next episode. Uh, currently getting a lot of chills. The first two chapters, already played them in the demo. There are some subtle changes, and I do like those little changes. They are very, very good. I really, lo I really like it. Um, currently, I'm looking forward to the rest of what's going on. The first two chapters, obviously, because we've already played them in the demo... They're a little bit, you know, you can kind of guess what's going on. From this point onward, I'm completely blind. I have no idea what's going on at all. Um, however, <laughs> I am looking forward to it. Um, first two chapters out of the way already, which is good. Following chapters to come. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway. We'll carry on in the next episode, though. But but thank you all so much for watching. 
this episode of The Beast Inside. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. That'll help me out a lot and you'll get more videos like this. Also don't forget to like my Facebook coming on Twitter and on Twitch and as always I will see you all in the next video. But until then, goodbye.